Hi and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the role of loss aversion in decision making. But first, let's define what we mean by loss aversion. This is the tendency for people to place a greater value on avoiding losses than on acquiring gains. In other words, people are more motivated to avoid losing something than they are to gain something of equivalent value. Loss aversion is a well-documented phenomenon in behavioral economics, and it has a number of important implications for decision-making. For example, people are often more willing to take risks to avoid a loss than they are to pursue a gain of the same size. This can lead to decision-making biases such as the sunk cost fallacy, in which people continue to invest in a losing venture because they don't want to admit the loss. People's perceptions of risks and rewards can also be influenced by loss aversion. People are generally more sensitive to the possibility of loss than the possibility of gain, which can lead to risk-averse decisions even when the projected outcome is good. So how can loss aversion be used to promote behavior change? One way is by framing the consequences of a decision in terms of potential losses or gains. For example, instead of telling people that they will save money by turning off lights when they leave a room, you might tell them that they will lose money if they don't turn off the lights. This can be a more effective way of motivating people to change their behavior. Another strategy for using loss aversion to induce behavior change is to offer incentives that involve possible losses. For example, a company might offer employees a financial reward for meeting certain goals, but also impose a penalty for failing to meet those goals. The threat of a loss can be a powerful motivator. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll be discussing the influence of anchoring and framing on decision-making. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our videos.